apparent recording of Warren Mayor Jim Fouts insulting people with special needs has really created quite a firestorm. It is important to note Fouts still vehemently denies it's his, it's his voice on those tapes. Now at least one Warren City Council member wants proof from an expert. So let's bring in Guy Gordon live. And this is something that you already did with a voice expert. That's right, Karen and Steve. We went to uh, Ed Primo, who is a forensic analyst of audio tape, uh, to see if that was the mayor's voice. Well, now uh, Warren City Councilman has asked for a two-page report on those very findings that we provided you on Friday, and he wants to go a step further. It embarrasses my city. Tonight, I'm going to meet a group of retards. It impedes upon... Um, doing good government. They're not even human beings. Councilman Scott Stevens will ask City Council to demand Mayor Fouts give voice samples using the exact verbiage in the widely denounced tape. Stevens contacted the forensic specialist we used last week, who says he's now 90% certain the voice on the tape belongs to Mayor Fouts. The recording was not me. He has the expertise available to him to electronically engineer it. The tests that he's conducted on it, it's literally impossible that it was engineered. Meantime, advocates for the disabled, including Michigan Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly and Arc of Michigan, will officially launch an anti-stigma campaign aimed at preventing further harm from the alleged words of the mayor. In all of my life, I have never ever heard comments that even come close to rivaling uh, the the vileness in um, in those recordings, and so. Uh, I thought it did, it, it required a response, but not just a response, but I wanted it to be a response that created hope for the future. Mayor Fouts was an early contributor on the campaign's GoFundMe page. He's getting strong support on his own Facebook page, but a Warren mother of a Down syndrome child has started this Facebook group, which already has 75 members. Council is expecting to hear from both sides at tomorrow night's meeting. And we understand they have asked for extra security there. Now, Councilman Stevens says he's willing to pay that $3,900 cost for a full forensic analysis of the tape. He says he will also provide the original tape from the person that recorded it so that they can do what they call a metadata analysis to see if it was engineered or edited in any way. In the meantime, we have once again reached out to Mayor Jim Fouts tonight to ask him uh, for his input on this, if he would submit to this test to prove whether those are his words or not. He has not responded to our request. We're live from Warren. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4.